is Brett Peters, and I am the curator of collections and exhibitions at Historic Bethlehem Museums and Sites. Welcome to Collections and Reflections, a weekly video series that will explore Bethlehem's unique history and heritage through a variety of artifacts, stories, and sites. This week's HBMS Collections highlight is a chair that was once sat on by the Marquis de Lafayette. Born Gilbert du Maurier on September 6, 1757, the Marquis de Lafayette was born into a very wealthy family in central France. Growing up, Lafayette harbored resentment towards the British due to his father's death at English hands during the French and Indian War. Fueled by this, Lafayette kept a close eye on the conflict brewing in the 13 British colonies in North America. When war broke out, Lafayette, by then a captain in the French army, boarded a ship to the 13 colonies. Arriving in South Carolina in 1777, Lafayette was made a major general in the Continental Army. In his first action at the September 1777 Battle of the Brandywine, Lafayette was grievously injured. After the battle, he was taken to Bethlehem to recover. Although he was originally housed in the Sun Inn, he was moved to the home of George Frederick Beckel, where he was nursed back to health by George's daughter, Liesel. Lafayette rejoined the Continental Army in October and went on to become a hero of the American Revolution. As for our chair, it is walnut-made and unupholstered. The arms are angled outward and supported by iron. The rear legs are square, while the front legs are carved. During Lafayette's stay at the Beckel House, he spent much of his time in his second-floor quarters, where, according to local tradition and a 1934 painting by Eleanor Barba, Lafayette sat in this exact chair while recovering from his wounds. In fact, this chair may have been brought to the Beckel House by Lafayette himself, who is supposed to have been transported to Bethlehem by chair. This is further evidenced by the fact that this chair does not appear to have been made in Bethlehem, nor owned by the Beckel family prior to Lafayette's arrival. I hope you enjoyed this week's installment of Collections and Reflections. Stay tuned next week when we chat with special guest Ray Levy about the exhibit A Pillar in the Branch of Bethlehem's NAACP, Mrs. Esther Lee, now on view at the Kemmerer Museum of Decorative Arts. Thank you, and we'll see you next Monday.